Alright, so going back to my channel, you guys. I am so excited for today's video because I do have the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Maple. And with this, I am really excited because when it comes to concealers, I've been meaning to try something new. But honestly, not a lot on the market gets my attention. So when I saw this and I saw all the reviews, I just know for sure it's going to be good. Or I do hope it is. Um, but when it comes to my channel, I always use the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer in the shade ND2. This concealer, you guys, I love so much because it blends really well. It was flawless every single time. I am obsessed with it. But at the same time, it is very repetitive on my channel. So with that being said, I am so ready to try something new out. And I do hope I like it. So make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so I did go ahead and pick up this product yesterday. And I do want to tell you guys what the price was. So before tax, let me go ahead and grab the right receipt. Um, before tax, it was $34. So it is pretty pricey. But I do believe a little bit does go a long way. And it comes with about point two fluent ounces worth of products which is also um six milliliters so it doesn't come with a lot if i'm honest um and after tax it was 36.47 so it is pretty pricey not gonna lie that is almost 40 dollars on one concealer and also i do want to mention that i did pull up the Too faced born this way concealer because i want to see the price and also the ounces of each so the Too faced born this way is 0.50 fluent ounces for 29 dollars whereas the hourglass one is 0.2 fluent ounces for 34 dollars so y'all can see the difference in price and also the size as well um but i will go ahead and read the claims of the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer all right so it claims to be a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with micro powders that blurs and brightens for up to 16 hours of skin perfection it's also great for normal to dry skin combination also oily so every skin type out there and also while i'm reading it claims to be free of sulfates parabens mineral oil and also it doesn't have synthetic fragrances and it also claims to be a highly pigmented formula that evens your skin tone to conceal the appearances of dark circles blemishes and other imperfections for a smooth natural and airbrush finish so those are all the claims you guys it sounds really promising i cannot wait to try it out but let me go ahead and pull it out the box because i've been meaning to see what it looks like so here's the concealer itself right here you guys i think it's very sleek and nice and i will show you guys what it looks like up close but y'all can see the packaging i think it looks very nice and sleek of course and every hourglass product looks very very similar i do have their powder right here and i think it's about the same packaging so they look very very similar so i did go ahead and get the shade maple of course and let's go ahead and try it out and see what it looks like so the first thing i do want to point out is the wand the wand is kind of big which i kind of like because it spreads really easily um and i feel like with this it makes it very easy to apply the product all over your face so i'm gonna start off right here of course and initially putting it on my skin, I can kind of tell that it does feel a little bit thick, but hopefully it doesn't blend out that way, if that makes any sense. So it feels thick right now, but I hope it does thin out once I blend it out. So now I'm going to blend it out and see what it looks like on the face. I hope y'all, I really do hope that it blends out well. It looks flawless because I really do need a new concealer. So using my beauty blender, of course, I'm just going to pounce it onto my skin. And with this right away, I can tell a little bit does go a long way because I do feel like I applied a little bit too much on my chin. And typically when it comes to my concealers, I do apply the same amount, but with this, I can tell it is very, very full coverage. So let me bring my mirror just a little bit closer because I'm gonna blend out the under eyes and I wanna see what it'll look like. Um, and I think I apply too much, you guys. I really do believe so because you don't need a lot with this. But I feel like the color at the same time looks really good on my skin. I was kind of nervous because I thought it would be way, way too light and golden for my skin. But so far, I think it looks really, really nice. And looking up close, it doesn't look cakey on the skin because I told you guys originally it felt a little bit thick on the face when I first applied it, but it doesn't look cakey at all. And it's blending out really, really easily. Like I'm not sitting here struggling at all. So, so far, first impressions, I think it's doing a really good job, but I need to go ahead and blend out the rest of them and see what it looks like, of course. So, so far, I will say I love the way it is looking on my skin, you guys, because it is a full coverage concealer, but at the same time, it looks very natural on my skin. But I do want to go ahead and add just a little bit more underneath the eyes because I just want it to be very full coverage underneath there. 
So I'm just gonna add about two more because this, y'all, a little bit goes a long way. All right, so this is what it looks like with a second layer on. I still think it looks really nice and natural. And I will come up close so y'all can see what it looks like. But I think it looks great on the skin. The only thing I will say is I noticed that it does get a little bit messy. I'm not sure exactly what is going on if y'all can see it. But it doesn't have like a nice stopper to it. So a lot of the product is already going around the cap. And this is not cheap at all. So I just feel like it's very wasteful just because of that. But at the same time what can you do um and another thing i do want to mention is the shade maple does look good on my skin but i did notice when i was in the store you guys they didn't have a lot of great selection when it comes to like colors um i noticed the one after this was a little bit too dark for me and the one below it was too light so i feel like when it comes to women of color the only option that a lot of us will have is this shade right here in maple so those are the two things i've noticed so far but what i'm gonna do now is actually set my face with my huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade kanafa of course let me take a little bit of this out and i will be baking today because i want to see what it'll look like on my normal routine so what i normally do is i first press the concealer out just to make sure there's no creases underneath my eyes and then i take the powder and just press it into my skin first and then once i press it into my skin i go right on top and i just bake So of course I'm currently baking my face right now and I feel like I applied way too much powder you guys because it just looks like a lot is going on but you know what it is. Um, but at the same time I will bake for about 10 minutes or so and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like once I brush it all off. So I'll be back in a second. Okay so I'm back so let me remove all this powder off my face. I'm using my e.l.f um what's it called blush brush because it's the only brush that actually like removes the powder nicely on my face i know it sounds crazy but it's the only brush that does that so let's remove this powder off and see what it looks like underneath So let me come a little bit closer to show you guys what it looks like but i think my under eyes and everything looks really really nice and smooth like okay i'm impressed i'm impressed but everything looks really great so far so what i'm gonna do now is actually finish up the rest of my face off camera and i will be back um i do think i want to do like a little wear test like it won't be long at all probably like a couple hours just to see how the concealer performs but right now initial impressions i am loving it so far okay so it's currently 2:40 right now and this is what my face is looking like um i will be back probably around four or something just a couple hours because i kind of know when it comes to concealer what to to look for and i know how it will act so by then i should have an idea um so yeah let me run some errands relax do a couple things and i'll be back again <laughs> okay so it's currently 505 so it's been about two hours and 30 minutes and usually right away you guys i promise you i know how a concealer is going to act throughout the day and so far let me come a little bit closer y'all can see my skin but Everywhere else is glowy and nice, but the areas I applied the concealer, it looks very matte and just like good. So I think this concealer is probably one of the best I've tried in a long time. I've had a lot of issues with a lot of concealers out there, but this one just looks so good on the skin. Very nice and matte, and it just looks very natural at the same time, despite it being full coverage. So do I recommend it? I do recommend trying it out. I wish they had more shades, of course. The price is a little bit steep, especially with tax. It is a little bit steep, not gonna lie, um, close to $40. So with that being said, I still think it's a really great concealer. I think Hourglass, when it comes to a lot of their products, out there they take their time to make sure that it's an actual great product um i know they don't release a lot of stuff at once so if they bring something out nine times out of ten i know it's gonna be good so with this so far i'm impressed and i just don't have anything negative to say right now um besides like the shade range and also the fact that um this part right here just gets really really messy like y'all can see what i mean it just looks super messy right now so y'all can see that's right there um 
But besides those two things, I have nothing negative to say about the actual concealer itself. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing reviews. Let me know down below what else you want to see on my channel. Um, but besides that, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one.